So uh, my name is Mark Hemmerlein. I'm the Water Quality Program Manager at the New Hampshire Department of Transportation. And uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, NPDES general permits for stormwater discharges from MS4s and how the permit applies to highway improvements. And uh, so we'll get started. Um, really, the uh, uh, there's a lot to be said in just the name of the permit. And so I kind of want to review some basics about the MS4 permit and how to step into the permit. And then I have four scenarios to talk about um, how we apply the, the, the MS4 permit effluent limitations and particularly the uh, part three uh, 236, which is the uh, new development and redevelopment section of the permit. Okay, so that's where our main focus is today. Um, but to start, you the first thing you really need is a separate storm sewer system. Um, and I picked a, a storm sewer system here. It's on Route 101. It's just a random one that I picked. It's a straight road. Yeah, again, it has uh, four catch basins up on the road. It's catch basin down across the road, and I have an inlet on the other side of the road here. Okay, and just to kind of let you know, set the stage. Um, this discharge is in with the in the urbanized area, so so it probably qualifies. And the uh, it's a straight piece of road, so it's normally crowned. So the the water uh, north of that red dotted line heads to the north, and the water that's the storm water that falls onto the pavement south of that line heads to the south. So it's important when we come and uh, look at the, the, the rest of the permit. So um, as I said, there's a lot to be said in the name. Um, again, we're talking about stormwater discharges from small municipal separate storm sewer systems. And so um, this system that we're looking at, um, this MS4 in particular is in the right of way. And so um, it meets the criteria for the permit, the eligibility, you might say. It's owned and operated by the state, okay? And city, town, borough, county, parish, district, association, and other public bodies uh, meets definition of municipal. So from here on out, I'll be either talking about state or municipal, but it's basically it's the state of New Hampshire owns the system and uh, we operate it. If we have, if we look at other, other systems that are out there, you might find systems that are up on, on private property. And these systems are actually private separated storm sewer systems and they're not regulated by MS4. So please keep them separate. All right, we're going to move on to the stormwater discharges part of the small separated storm sewer systems, municipal one. And we're going to talk about point discharges and non-point discharges. The first, obviously, this thing has a point discharge. It comes out of the end of the pipe and it heads, heads out to the world. So it's, it's a point discharge. And that's important. You need point discharges to be regulated under the uh, NIPIS program. Non-point discharges, um, if you look at the south side of the road, since there's no curbing and the water sheet flows off the pavement as a non-point discharge, okay? Just enters the environment and dissipates, okay? Non-point discharges are not regulated by the MS4 permit. All right, let's talk a little bit about water of the United States. Uh, obviously, we have our point discharge up, up there. And in this case, and I picked this spot because of it, uh, it discharges to a water of the United States. That happens to be a wetland up there. And, it, and so in order to be regulated by, this, uh, by, this, by the small municipal separate storm sewer system permit, it needs to discharge to the water of the United States. MS4 permits only regulate discharges to waters in the United States. If it goes to a field, a gore area, a sand pit, an infiltration basin, it's not regulated under MS4. So discharges to waters in the United States. All right, 
So let's talk a little bit about point source versus non-point source. I've taken our, our, uh, our small separated storm sewer system, our MS4, and I've added some detail to it. The first thing I added is, just, is these pink lines, okay? Curving, curving is really important when it comes to highways. Highways are normally crowned and they're designed to shed water quickly. And we don't want puddles on our highways. And so um, uh, as water sheds from the travel lanes across the shoulder, you encounter these, these curb lines and the curb lines um, produce um, flow, point flow into the catch basins. So we've already established that we have a point discharge to a water in the United States, okay? But as we add this, we have all these point source point sources in the MS4. So water, again, as I said, travels down across the pavement, down the curb line and into the catch basin. That's its point source. And on this project, we have actually have six, uh, we have four catch basins. We have a point source here. We have a point source, I'm waiting for my cursor to catch up. Here, I have another one here where we have points uh, sources on either side of the catch basin. And the same thing is true here. I have point sources on either side of the catch basin, okay? As soon as we introduce those point sources, this becomes a point source discharge. And that's what's regulated under MS4. Okay. If we move on to non-point sources, again, as I said, the, the road is normally crowned. There's no curving on the other side of the road, the south side of the road. And water sheet flows off the road. Okay, That's a non-point source. Non-point sources also can, can run into an area okay, from the environment. These could be woods, it could be farm fields, it could be anything, okay? If it's not a, not a concentrated flow, it's a non-point source, okay? So non-point sources are not regulated by MS4. So how do we put this all together? And this is, this is kind of gets the interesting part. So again, I had our same MS4, with the added curve lines on there. And what I did is each one of these salmon boxes represents the catchment of the point source. So again, remember this is this, this uh, catchment drains to this point source. This one goes to this one. These two go to this catch basin, which is its point source. And these two go to this catch basin, All right? So, we have what I call state point source. These are point sources within the state right away that go to a state municipal separate storm sewer system, okay? That separated uh, storm sewer system discharges at a point and it goes to the water United States, all right? So you need to meet all four conditions to open the MS4 permit. So unless you have a system that meets these criteria, there's no need to open the MS4 permit. All right. So uh, with that clear, uh, with that said, I'm going to look at four scenarios um, and look at the part two, three, six effluent limitations and so, I, and I picked these projects. One is this, this the first one I'm gonna look at is a uh, sidewalk project, okay? This is your, your, your typical classic uh, town project in a state highway, which uh, wants to add a, a new sidewalk down the side of the road with curbs and tie-in and drainage. And I'm gonna walk through the effluent, uh, well, it's really the MS4 tests and the effluent limitations to determine how to handle the ultimate uh, treatment of the stormwater. Um, again, uh, here's our project, and I just drew it out as a box. Um, the red line is, represents the curb. Along that curb would be catch basins that would, that would go into, wait for my cursor to catch up, would go into our MS4, and then it would follow it out, and it would go out to uh, Waters United States. 
So we ask the same four questions that we asked before, okay? So this is, that's, this is determined if you need to deal with MS4 with the state of New Hampshire, the Department of Transportation. One, do you have new state point source, okay? And in this case, the point source, because it's, a, it's from the normal crown to the curb line and the, and the sidewalk, okay? It's all being directed into catch basins, into the MS4 and out the MS4 as a point, okay? So it's, it's uh, the new point source goes from the point source to the state MS4, goes out to the point discharge, and it goes into a wide United States. So you, you've met those four criteria again, right? So now we open the permit up, and the first thing we have to do to determine is the site greater than an acre, okay? So, uh, the site is determined by the point discharge location, okay? So the point discharge, again, is up here on the star. This represents the point discharge. And the MS4 branches out, and, and again, you follow it back up uphill. You find the catch basins, and then you find the point sources. So in this case, because the project is collecting water off the that off areas that used to be non-point, and now you've converted them into point source discharge, this becomes your project site, okay? And in this case, I measured that on the GIS system, and then it's greater than an acre. It's almost two, almost three acres in size, all right? That's the first test, I'm over an acre. The second test is this new development and redevelopment test, okay? And the permit, makes you look at to see if you have new point source discharges on more than 40% of your existing, all right? And in this case, this is true, okay? You've converted, this project converted a lot of non-point source to point source discharge, and as a result, it's about 60% of the area, and therefore, it's new development, okay? The affluent limitation for new development is to treat and to reduce uh, TSS by 80%, this is in our discharge, our total nitrogen by 50%, and our total phosphorus by 50%. So somehow, the designer of the project will need to figure out how to accomplish that effluent limitation, right? It's not as easy as just placing the catch basins on, for on the road anymore and discharging them out to the left. All right, I'm gonna move on to a new project, okay? This is more of a classic operations job. We're gonna add a new driveway, it's a private driveway. However, there needs to be road, road work with dedicated right turn pockets with curb and drainage tie-ins, okay? So, I have a new project area, okay? Again, the red line represents the uh, curb line. Again, there are catch basins on that curb line which tie into our MS4. In, uh, in the project areas represented in blue. So we ask the same four questions again, okay? Do we have new state point source? And then the answer is yes. Does it go to the state MS4 system? Is it, yes. Is the point discharge, again, still there, hasn't changed, and it goes to a wide United States, okay? So we open the permit up and we look at the, the size of the, of the site, okay? First thing we have to do is we have to address this non-point source discharge area. Non-point non source discharges are not included in the MS4 site because they're not regulated by MS4, okay? So our site becomes this area in yellow, okay? Right, because that's our point source. And when we look at it, again, it's greater than an acre. You have to continue on with the second test, which is a new develop and redevelopment test, okay? Right, in this case, the new point source discharges are less than 40% of the existing. So it's a redevelopment, okay? Redevelopment is a, is a whole lot less onerous than new development. So our effluent limitations for redevelopment is to treat the equivalent of 50% of the new point source discharge, 
and to treat 30% of your existing point source discharge, right? So that's gonna require some sort of treatment and we'll have to, we'll have, the designers will have to figure out how to do that. The third project, the third type of project we see a lot of in, in the department, okay? A private developer wants to interconnect with, without right away improvements. They wanna do their improvements on the property. However, to get the drainage to the work, they need to connect into our drainage system, okay? So, as we look at that encroachment agreement and our drainage agreement, okay, there's our private property, okay? It's over an acre. I don't know if it really is, but for this, for this presentation, it's over an acre. And we're gonna ask the same questions. Do we produce new state point source? And the answer is no, okay? Are we creating a new new part of the state municipal separate storm sewer system? No, it's a the, the developer is creating his own private system. Remember, it's not owned by the state. All right. In fact, the owner's point source discharge connect it will be at the interconnection point between his private system and the municipal system. Okay, that's why we have interconnections to so we can define these locations, okay? The owner still has responsibilities, responsibilities under NIPTES, okay? These discharges are regulated through the owner's multi-sector general permit authorization from the EPA, applicable, okay? So he'll have to file his own NOI if he has to, and he'll talk to EPA directly on his point source discharges, okay? However, as we go through the, the, the drive, uh, the encroachment agreement, we wanna know, and we want the, the developer to determine if the state's MS4 is gonna be affected by the connection. And this is the usual kind of hydraulics and pipe sizes, but it also can include, if there happened to be a stormwater basin on the end of that, MS4 that's treating water, we want to know, again, hydraulics and, and, and the such, that the new discharge that he's adding to the MS4 is not going to blow that treatment system out of the water or affect its effectiveness on removing pollutants, okay? Interesting. All right, so the last one. Uh, this is to add a municipal interconnection without any state highway improvements. So this happens quite a bit. You get a new cul-de-sac, goes in, and the town takes over that road, all right? And so, so we're going to ask the, the town the same questions again. Is there new state point source? Okay? And probably the answer, since they're not, they're building their own system. It's not state, it's town point source. It's a town MS4, it's not a state MS4. There's still a point discharge, okay? And that point discharge for the town is right there. It's a it discharge and interconnection point, okay? And it still goes to water United States. It crosses our highway and discharges the wetland across the street. So they, the town, discharges are regulated through the town's MS4 authorization from EPA. Like the last, like the last example, we still want to determine if the state's MS4 is affected by the connection, okay? This is normal engineering practice. So those, those are four typical um, scenarios we have. And uh, so I think after this presentation, I believe uh, we have two gentlemen going to talk about uh, operations interaction with private developers and uh, then uh, the state's interaction with municipally managed projects. Uh, so we can get more, they'll probably get more into the details about technical memos and so forth and the interactions. So that's all I have. And if you have questions, I'll leave my placard up and uh, that 
you know, and there should be plenty of time at the end of the presentations to answer questions. Thank you very much.